Hey everybody, it's Dar with Prolific AF Entrepreneurs. I've got a couple of AF Entrepreneurs myself right here. We've got Bradley and Cole from Podchaser. And uh, how you doing, guys? Doing great, having fun here in Dallas at Podcast Man. So tell me, actually tell our listeners what Podchaser is. Podchaser, the easiest way to think about it is like IMDb, but for podcasts. So we collect data, metadata, credits, ratings, reviews, and all kinds of fun insights and data about every podcast in the world. Wow. Yeah. That sounds, that hurts my head. It does hurt my head too. Yeah. All right, so a couple of quick questions. Number one, how'd you get your first customer? First customer was T Public. Was it? Yeah, Maybe. It kind of counts. No, it was a PR firm. We'll count that one. Uh, yeah, cold, that's a, that's cold, cold email. Always cold email. Cold email. Cold email. All right. We, we built uh, something we thought we could monetize. And just started uh, emailing people and making up pricing and seeing if they'd say yes, and they start saying yes, and awesome. adjust it from there, and then start scaling it. All right, so. next question: What do you do to reduce churn? It's a great question. We're trying, to, <laughs> trying to figure that out right now. Churn is always <laughs> always a thing. Yeah. You know, it's uh, we've we've from the beginning we've listened to our clients and built new features based on their feedback. So yeah. it's just constant iteration. Yeah. And getting the product to slap the customer in the face with value uh, on, a, on a cadence. Like, so if you just sign up and then renew a year later, but we're not outwardly saying, hey, like, here's some value or here's, here's some tips or whatever, they'll forget about you and not use you. And then when it comes to renewal, they're like, oh, well, I don't use this anymore. That's our fault. So it's our job to Slap them in the cases. face with value. Slap them in the face. I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, build, a, build a product that they can't live without. I'm yes. going to start using that. Slap them in the face value. Yes. All right. Final question. Yes. Some companies have supp- uh, surprise and delight. What is, do you have anything in your company that just like surprise and delight customers? Probably our concierge. Okay. Yeah. We, have a, we have this feature built into our product where you can like actually hear back from us quickly if you reach out like we yeah. get back to we're, we're very responsive nice. so like it has the face of our your customer success person inside of the product with their name and you can engage with them um, and yeah that's very yeah, that feedback loop with customer service making that immediate so yeah. that otherwise a customer may say oh, I can't figure this out I'm not gonna use this and then next time they come to use the product like well I didn't understand that so making sure they can immediately access a human being uh, reduces churn. Okay, so I, I said that was my last question, but okay. I have two more now. Okay. <laughs> who is your ideal customer? Who do you want to attract? People who are watching here. Ideal customer. We uh, work with we work a lot. Like agencies. Agencies. Yeah. yeah. But no PIA. We don't want any PIA customers here. All right, go ahead. True. Yeah, agencies, <laughs> PR firms, universities, uh, universities brands. are big. Brands, oh, yeah? nonprofits. Okay. Anybody who is interested in getting their brand out in podcasting. Yeah, All right. Anybody. Last question, where can people find you? They want to learn more. Podchaser.com. Podchaser.com. And these guys are stylish too. Check this out. This is my head. It's my face. This is me. Love it. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks so much, fellas. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely.